Let's move on right quick to issue 42. And folks, our dream team is back. Flynn writing and Tracy Yardley is back to do the art. It's been a while, hasn't it, since Tracy yeah. Yardley's done art? I was about to say, yeah, no, it's been a while. Oh my god. So what what do you know what Mr. Yardley has been has been up to as of late? I know he I I imagine he works on just other projects and other comics. <sighs> it's uh <laughs> It's a little difficult to talk about because, like, without going too much into it, I think somewhere around this time, he said he had uh, some personal issues going on with his family. It's This was years ago, so everything's been resolved now, but he did take a little step back from the comic interior art-wise. To this day, he still does art for the covers. I think the most recent release, issue 58, I believe, was a Tracy Yardley cover. At least one of them was. So, he still has his hand in IDW Sonic. Ugh... This is the part where it's going to become difficult for me to talk about because, like, he, he's he been posting uh, a lot on Twitter, right? Every now and again, likes to talk about, you know, his work on IEW Sonic, but also with Archie Sonic. And he once posted, this was like a good couple of months ago, how even though he does get a better rate with IDW now, he feels like he doesn't really want to return to IDW Sonic, at least not right now. Even though he still does work in the capacity of which I said. And I mean, the 5th anniversary special edition of the first issue is being reprinted. It's going to be out in April. And I know he's doing the art for the new B story that Ian is also writing. So he's still involved. He still really is. Although what I'm about to say feels like I'm going to put words in his mouth. So please don't take it like that. This is just my thoughts and I feel hesitant to even say it. I kind of do suspect that Tracy Yardley may have a preference. Maybe he preferred working on Archie Sonic versus IDW Sonic. It's understandable to an extent. So I get it, right? Especially when you consider the way that the narrative that Ian and Yardley kind of crafted and how integral the two were together in forming what was a rebirth of a comic that people did not think would ever get that kind of treatment. I can imagine the way that they want IDW done, which again, it's a much different comic compared to Archie. It would make sense that he's a little bit more hesitant because the content in IDW is nowhere near in that realm that maybe Yardley felt more comfortable with, you know? I can completely understand that, right? From that perspective, I completely get it. And I think that's that's very reasonable if that's his take. Yeah, if that and again, if that is his take, he has not been vocal about it that much. What I'm saying here is pure speculation. Please, please, please do not take what I say as me putting words in his mouth. It's very interesting to see. But again, I don't want this to be like me bothering him. I don't want to like engage with him on this. He clearly has his preferences one way or the other. And either way. In his own capacity, he's still working on IDW Sonic. Now, of course, as a fan and as someone as who grew up with Archie Sonic, would I like to see Tracy Yardley's art more often in the comics? Yes, absolutely. But that's his call, ultimately. That's and his call. We're not, uh, yeah, and we're not going to fucking judge him one way or the other. It's ultimately his decision. Whatever decision that is, that's his to make. Didn't mean to go into this whole tangent. I, I guess I brought it up by accident. But, you know, hey, I feel like it is worth talking about because Yardley was such an integral part of Archie. And we have not really seen his art that much. And I guess it's good to sort of kind of understand maybe where he lies but again we don't know we don't have a full picture of it we only have the speculation and based off of some tweets and whatnot but it's irrelevant at the end of it. it's irrelevant and like i said i'm going to stress this for a fourth time please don't engage with him about this leave the guy alone it's his call at the end of the day whatever he wants to do we as fans have the responsibility to support him whatever that may be absolutely but you see 